Assistant Police Commissioner, ACP, Calvin Brutus, his wife, Adonica Alder, and driver, Sergeant Kevin George, after being granted bail by Georgetown Magistrate Court some two weeks ago, have reportedly failed to adhere to the condition of their release. On October 24th, the trio appeared before Acting Chief Magistrate Faith Mcgusty and had several charges related to fraud and money laundering read to them. The group who are facing charge relating to money laundering and fraud were not allowed to plead to the indictments, but Brutus was placed on bail in the sum of $6.2 million. His wife was granted $1 million bail and George $500,000 bail under the condition they report on the second Friday of each month to Superintendent Mahado Singh or Deputy Superintendent Frank Harvey between 30 hours and 16.30 hours at SOCU. However, credible sources close to the Special Organized Crime Unit informed this publication that none of the party showed up on Friday, November 8th. According to the official, the breach is a clear violation of the court's instruction and renders bail liable to revocation. The source said that the prosecution will report the matter to the court and request that the bail be revoked. When contacted on Friday, one of Brutus's lawyers, UC Anderson, said that order was Brutus et al. report every second Friday of the month. On the 24th of October, 2024, her Worship, Acting Chief Magistrate, Faith McGusty, granted bail to Calvin Brutus on the condition that he is to report on the second Friday of every month to the officers at Sokyu, one Mr. Harvey and one Mr. Singh. The first Friday that we can count would have been Friday, October 25th. The second Friday would have been Friday, November 1st, Anderson said. He added that the clock then begins to run again from Friday, November 1st being the end of the second week. Today, Friday, November 8th, is the first Friday. The order says he's supposed to report on the second Friday of every month. In those circumstances, Mr. Calvin Brutus is obligated to report to SOCU next, having reported on the 1st of November. He is then obligated to report next to SOCU on the 15th of November. So, in that regard, as I indicated to you at the starting of this conversation, any mischievous, dishonest, or quite frankly, frivolous lies coming from whatever sources you have that Mr. Brutus did not appear at SOCU today in breach of bail conditions will meet the same force that they met when those lies were told to the magistrate on the 24th of October about him not reporting or making themselves available to SOCU, the lawyer said. He said that therefore the next time Brutus is expected to report to SOCU is on November 15th. When asked for clarification, regarding the court's interpretation of a calendar month, an independent attorney unassociated with the matter stated that the court considers a calendar month in its ordinary sense, a period that aligns with the structure of a traditional calendar month.